Yesterday we were musky fishing, the day before that we were trout fishing. Today we're going fishing for striper. So I'm going down to fish the lower Potomac with Richie, who's one of our subs who reached out and said he can get us on some big fish. So we're going to go down there, drag the boat, we're going to meet up with him and fish around his home waters. So he says he's been on a really good bite lately and then later on in the night, or later on in the day, uh, the top water bite should be good. So hopefully we can get on some big striper. He's saying he's been catching them in the 35 to 40 inch range and we might even be able to get on a 50 inch striper today. So that'd be probably the biggest fish that I've ever caught in my life. So definitely looking forward to this. Cannot wait to get down there. Got about an hour and a half drive. Let's go. We made it. Gonna set the boat up and get out on the water. Catch a big striper. I'm fishing with Richie from CMRC. I didn't forget. I didn't forget. <laughs> We're going to be doing some striper fishing today. He's been crushing them lately, so the last few days, tell me some of the fish you've been catching. Uh, 30, 40 inch stripers, uh, one that was around 54 inches and uh, roughly 50 pounds. I actually have it in one of my last videos too, so. Definitely go check that out. I'm going to put the link in the description below for his channel. Go watch his videos of these giant striper he's catching. So if I catch a fish that big, I don't even know how I'm going to hold it because I'm only 5'6", so that's almost as big as me. Hopefully we have that problem today, so let's get out on the water. Gonna start off with this Pointer 100. This is the Aurora Shad. And you've been catching them on jerk baits, right? Yeah, Just so like this? All I've been using is that exact size. The four or five, four or five inch is exactly what they look. Cool. Well, that's what we're gonna try. So we're gonna aim up for this point up here. We're gonna just troll our way up there and then fish around the point a bunch. That's where he's been whacking them. Gonna see if we can get any bigger ones hanging off the point. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I got a fish, I got a fish. <laughs> it's a little one. Oh dude, you got a micro striper, dude. I got a micro stripe. Hell yeah, look at that little guy. We'll take him. Put him on a cracker. Hey buddy. Like Woo! Fish number one. So it's low tide right now, right? Yep. So we're going to be fishing in incoming tide. Yeah, incoming, incoming this is considered the lower Potomac? Yeah, it's lower Potomac. It's Breton Bay. Breton Bay on the lower Potomac. Never been down here before, so that's cool. Yeah, that's pretty warm. <laughs> 70 degrees. 71. 71. So right now I'm throwing my... Got him? Oh, right at the boat, dude. What? <laughs> Damn, son. That was awesome. So that was that was the fish that picked it up earlier. Yeah. See, I thought I felt something, but I wasn't 100%. Nice. You need the net? Yeah, it's just the first fish. I told him he's not running the camera at all. Boom. We're getting better. We went from 5 to <laughs> to 20. Now we just need to go by another 20 inches, and then we'll have some fun. There Pretty you fish, man. Looks good. Oh, yeah. Right at the boat. That was cool. There's always at least one fish in that spot. Good. <laughs> I found that out, I hit that spot and the fish are actually like literally insane. Cause I've had them oh, take- Oh, there we go. You got one? Yeah, I got- Oh, oh yeah, there he is, there he is. <laughs> That's awesome. It's recording, it's recording, I don't know what I'm doing. No, I think it's little. Oh, he's a little bigger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, oh it's a nice one. It's a good one. Nice one. Come 25. on. Here he comes. Keeps gaining life. That's what I love about light tackle. Oh, it's so fun. It's so awesome. You know, the thing is, people troll for hours and get like three fish, and I can get like. Oh, oh. Jesus. No. I almost killed him with the jerk bait. It's Sorry, good, dude. Though. It's all good, man. That was sick. Oh. All right, let's get another one. Dude, I had no idea that that fish was that size until it got to the boat. Like, it gained so much life. Yeah. That was awesome. So, I'm throwing my 6'6 medium jerk bait slash small square bill crankbait rod and fighting these big striper that was awesome fight oh inches. there's one that yeah. that's a better one. Oh, maybe it's not as big as the last one but it's gotta be dude yeah it's like owning out here on the on the Brenton bay this is awesome dude oh my god you are getting us on the fish bro yeah, this is so sick these things fight good so much fun, on my so much there's, fun man there's nothing better dude he crushed this jerk yeah, bait. Let's not lose this one. I'll try not to. <laughs> That's the hard part with the. Oh, he's 
definitely not as big as the last one, but he's still good. He's barely hooked. He's got that back hook in him. Ready? All right. There we go. Nice. Hell yeah, dude. This is some quick action Woo. fishing right here. Nice. Woo. Hey. That's what's up, dude. <laughs> dude, thank you. This is so sick. <laughs> what do you think this is? Like 20... 22. 22? Yeah. Here we go. 22 inch striper. Yeah. 22. He is getting us on these fish and they are smashing a jerk bait. So much fun. Are you actually giving this thing any pauses or just kind of like slow, okay. just slowly reeling and giving it like a tap tap? For whatever reason this works, but I just straight reel it in. Straight reel it and straight they'll hit reel it? Straight reel it in. No like anything. I, I don't know why, but that tends to work. Cool. Like when I had that one that hit it came back after it. Both yeah. Times, Cool. Uh, it's, uh, There's one. It's somewhere close. Yeah, little, little one. Oh my god. Woo! <laughs> He's almost as small as the jerk bait. <laughs> oh, I, oh yeah, I, I did lose that one. You want him? Nah, throw him back. You good. See ya. Tell your grandma's grandma to come bite. <laughs> I was using that website to just buy, like, because the bait's on there, there like we go. a quarter of the price. Thank you, Lord. Sorry. <laughs> oh, it's a tiny. Yeah. Oh, it just popped off too. Oh no, he's still on. He's just running fast as hell. <laughs> All right, we got like a 50 inch. Here we go. He's a giant. It's a 10 pounder. Oh, flip, flip him. Oh, I'm gonna play hard to get. All right, simmer down, soldier. All right, guys. Not saying I'm getting outfished right now, but uh, I'm getting lucky. That's what's happening. <laughs> we'll, we'll call it that. I missed the one, so this so, is number four. Yeah. Nice little what, 16, 17 inch fish. See ya. Dope. So much fun, dude. He was running so fast to the boat, I was like, oh, he popped off. Or, oh, this is normal. This okay. is a little slower than normal. <laughs> I'm like, weird. this is action hour fishing. This is insane. You're like, yeah, it's a little slow. <laughs> <laughs> We've only been out for like 20 minutes. So I've caught four fish. You've caught two? No, I've got one. One. Right? But you, you've had a couple bites, too. I've had a couple bites. So. Do you want to go grab it? I mean, your house is right there, yeah. Yeah, let me just scoot over there. It's up to you. Yeah, it's tied right under my John boat. It can take me like two seconds. It doesn't matter to me, man. Yeah, we can do you think that. it's a good idea? Yeah. Right, then we so can just... We're going to run and grab an anchor real quick. So we've been out for a total of one hour and caught four fish, two dinks. I missed a pretty big one. And then Richie's caught one as well. This is pretty quick paced, fast action fishing. It's a lot of fun. He's like, oh, this is kind of slow. <laughs> I'm like freaking out. So we're just grabbing an anchor right quick, and then we're gonna head back out and try to catch some more, and we're looking for that 50-incher. Giant. Let's go. Oh yeah, here we go. My buddy Eddie made this, gave it to me, and then gave me some baits to throw on the back of it. I'm gonna just try it out, give it a shot. It's pretty shallow, very shallow. It's uh, four feet. Pretty sure he said just to cast it out and reel it back as fast as you can. Hope I get slammed on this thing. That would be so dope, dude. <laughs> Oh my God. Whoa! <laughs> what the? F I don't think I'm hooked. We're good. All right, sweet. <laughs> Dude, it's cool. It happens. Small boat. It's all good. Just don't hit me in the face. <laughs> we'll be fine. It was totally cool, and then I went to grab him. It's fair now, we both have two baits thrown at us today. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah we did. So I just caught that on this bucktail that Eddie made for me. Dropped these off for me the other day. He knew I was on a striper hunt, just going for a striper. So he hand ties these jigs. He brought me one and just caught my first, or first fish on this bait. It's nice, what do you think, 24? 24, 25, not a 24 bad 24 fish. inch fish. He absolutely annihilated that bait too. It was awesome, that was fun. Go. Beautiful fish. Swim. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, dude. So five fish in less than two hours, and they're all, you know, some small ones in there, but some <laughs> decent ones too. And I missed that real big one. The one that I missed was definitely the biggest of the day. Good job, Matt. The bite is definitely has definitely slowed down a little bit, but. Tide's starting to come in now, it's starting to get a little bit darker, so we're hoping that these fish are gonna turn on. I'm feeling confident. Yeah, I'm feeling confident. He's good. feeling confident, so I know that they're gonna bite. <laughs> Definitely a little bit of a lull, but I mean, that's fishing. That's just the way it goes. The beginning was just fire, like constant, Great. like 10 casts, five fish. Yeah. I don't know, it was nuts. It was very cool, very, very cool. 
And I missed that big one too. It's been nice out. That was crazy. Yeah, I was just getting lucky, dude. It's tough now. Both of us are struggling. There are no fish left in the water. <laughs> Well, didn't catch a giant, but we did catch five striper today. Six, including yours, right? Yeah. Six, five. Well, maybe we don't maybe, remember. Maybe, maybe we don't we, remember. We don't remember. It was so quick in the beginning, literally. Like we don't even remember how many we caught because it was so fast. It happened in like the first hour, yeah. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah. So huge thanks to Richie for taking me out. Go check out ZMRC fishing. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. Check out his giant striper catches on there and other fishing that he does. Go give it a look. I'm heading home now. Ace and I are going electro fishing with the uh, Virginia Department of Game and Inland Fisheries tomorrow at Lake Robertson and then going on a musky hunt. So a lot for you guys to look forward to and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, dude. Peace. Woo. Just got back from striper fishing. It is like 1030 right now and I got a package when I got home. I know exactly what it is. I want to share it with you guys. This is probably going to be the coolest unboxing you've ever seen. More, more cookies. More cookies. Okay, so let me give you the backstory on these cookies. So, one of our subs, Liza, sent me a message. Actually, it was a comment in one of our last videos. And she said she is a 61-year-old grandma from the Richmond, Virginia area. And she just got into fishing last year, or bass fishing last year. She doesn't have anybody to fish with, and she likes watching our videos because she feels like she has a virtual fishing buddy. So, obviously I reached out. I think that's freaking awesome that she found a passion for bass fishing. And I plan on fishing with her soon. I mean, Liza, I can't wait. I appreciate all the cookies. It was so kind of you. Seriously, don't know what to say. I do have a bad sweet tooth, so. Thanks. Oh, I got an idea. Hang on. Cannot have cookies without a good glass of milk. Pretty awesome. Thank you, Liza. See you later, guys.